Hold on. Can you get through to that next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Had to be an easier way out of there than the way I came in. Good at this. something. stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. Good.
Come on. Let's get the hell away from here. Go on. It's okay. I'm right behind you. As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém. Yes! Ela não é minha namorada. Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupa de jovem. Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco, quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que um velho usaria. Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Acorda! Acorda! <risos> Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do Captain Baseball Bad Boy! With little hope that things will improve in the next 18 months. A report by human rights organizations documents evidence that up to 200 residents have gone missing from Sao Paulo's low-income neighborhoods in the past three months. An issue which they say is being ignored by both police and city officials. More Latin American news after this. Hotel Mona. An unforgettable place to stay. I must be losing it. day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Should we wait here for Passos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Continue a 
she was Victor's political nemesis and, in all probability, Sao Paulo's next mayor. Even the Broncos couldn't afford that many votes. Make sure there's no more of them! Just stay there, it's gonna be okay! It felt strange dealing with any of this without a lining of scotch on the stomach. This would have to do. Wait here. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. Right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, we can do this. All right, now listen to me. When I give you the word, I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me. Now go! Jump! Go!
I was just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Boy, Max! Get in! Quick! I can't believe that bastard just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times, dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things had got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max! Max! Come on! The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, sir, nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Nasty! Ah, come here, I love this one! Oh, my cello! You're going to be the death of me! Alfredo <laughs> Borchard! He sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey soldier. Oh. God, I gotta quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are! <laughs> Just stay off the Yale, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse
introduce me. I'm going to uh, go to speak to Filippi. Filippi, you crazy crackhead. Lay off the yayo, eh? Hey? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure. Ta bon, ta bon. But have him smile a bit more, you know? Because life, life is good. <laughs> ah. Where's the truck? Coming. Hey, soon. Soon. Yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay. Dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The bow was well appointed. to Passos, my partner in crime, or maybe someone else's. I had a way of making any space my own. Daphne's ship was always stocked. This was where Marcella was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck.
the radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks.
Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee, making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. The pirates wouldn't get everything.
Daphne's ship was always stocked. And the band played on. Save some valuables. Oh, no, no. It's not 